this episode, I'm going to talk briefly about some issues people have had downloading and playing Atari's new game, Atari Mania. Stay tuned to Atari Newsline Newsflash. Welcome back. So it's true, um, unfortunately. Some users are reporting that they had issues uh, downloading and playing Atari's new game, Atari Mania, on the Atari BCS. Uh, this is a freaking shame um, because not only do we have the problems with the XP carts, and there were two or three problems with those, not only do we not have Flashback Fridays anymore, not only do um, we not to have games coming out on Atari VCS first. Um, if you don't count Atari Mania coming out a day early, um, Atari said that it would no longer come out early for that system. Um, and support's been kind of shoddy. So, not very happy about this, Atari. Um, I feel like you guys need to hire someone like me or someone <laughs> to, uh, you know, just look over everything before it goes out um um uh you um you know um you, you need help there um definitely it's been really sloppy it's been a really sloppy launch and i'm um, not very happy about it i know a lot a lot of other users aren't too so i really feel like you should get your act together somehow i don't know if that means hiring a handful of people to look over any marketing to market more to make sure games are properly tested and vetted and you know why put out a game on your own system that ha is glitchy to some people? Now, I did have a similar problem, and I talked about that in the last news line or two. Um, when I tried to download Atari Mania a couple of nights ago when it came out um, <clears throat> um, on Thursday, um, my screen went white and my system restarted, but I was able to come back and play the game. So some people are reporting when attempting to buy it the screen is white or they can't get past it. So just to show you here, my um, you, my uh, Twitter and YouTube friend, uh, Retro Rich Haywood from Bacon Ice Cream Productions. Um, my friend Retro Rich Haywood from Bacon Ice Cream Productions said on Twitter, um, Hey Atari fans, has anyone else had trouble picking up Atari Mania on the Atari VCS today? I keep getting this white screen while trying to purchase and it doesn't seem to resolve, even after waiting several minutes. Any help here would be awesome. Thanks. Uh, and uh, I had other users also email me about this. Um, Sabretooth Retro says in the reply to his post, it appears to be an issue with the back end and not the VCS itself. They are working on it per chat on the Discord server. Um, and some other people, my friend Obsidian Contraption said he has the issue as well. Um, I actually said uh, I had this happen when I was downloading it initially, but I restarted the system and it works fine. Not sure if I lucked out or if the issue is random. Hope it gets resolved soon. I agree with Saber. Tech support in the VCS forums on Discord is the place to go. So let me know, guys, if you're having this issue, um, if Atari's reached out to you. I think um, one of my friends, uh, Sean, on Twitter, uh, reached out to me and YouTube and said... Uh, that Atari told him in Discord they were working on it, and they asked for his information, and he doesn't have a cell phone or an Instagram account, and apparently they were trying to get that from him, I guess. Um, so I, I just feel like it's been a shaky launch on the VCS. Um, even though it came out a day early, I feel like maybe you know they didn't put as much time into refining that release as they did the Switch and the PC release. I don't know if Switch and PC users are having this problem, but anyway, um, let me know down below if you are, and I'll post whenever there's a solution as well. So um, I played a little more of Atari Mania the past couple of days, and I have to say I'm enjoying it. Um, the further I get into it, the more fun I'm having with it, for sure. Um, it is a challenging game. Um, there are lots of mini games everywhere. I love that you can collect manuals and box art. It's awesome. 
Um, and uh, it, it's really engaging, and I really like it. I just wish the launch on the VCS had been better. Um, you know, it, it's a shame. I feel like we should have the best launch of any system with the VCS. Uh, let me know down below if you think so, too. So I'm not expecting things to get resolved quickly. Um, the past with Atari has shown us that they'll work on it whenever they get around to it. Um, might have one person working on it. I don't know. Um, but I feel like they need to step it up. Let's get it fixed today. Let's not have fans waiting another day or two. Because the bigger that is, the bigger the problem's going to be. And Atari needs to address things immediately. Um, so let me know if you agree. So I am having a great time with Atari Mania. Like I said, um, I can't wait for everyone to be able to play it. Um, I would love to hear your reviews of that down below or your first impressions or hot takes. Um, as I said, mine are, I think it's a fantastic game. Um, it is a little glitchy, apparently. Um, that's what both reviewers said, though, that I talked, um, uh, that I read the reviews of before launch day. I think last Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, so anyway, uh, let me know down below. Uh, thank you so much for watching Atari Newsline Newsflash. Um, on Mondays, that Atari show, my good friend Bally Alley, um, Adam, is going to join me talking about the 2600. And I'll have a little bit more news about Atari Mania, Creator Space, Podcast Blast, and Atari Newsline, and more. So hope to see you then. Have a great weekend. Hopefully, you can go out and play some Atari Mania today. Please, universe. Please. Please, Atari. Fix it. Fix it now. <laughs> it's it's uh, not cool. Not cool. Fix it. All right. We'll see you later. Bye.